today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel TV YouTuber that is trying to be long no by. And today it's the second part in my hunt for purple. And I'm going to use the Lilac You a lot from Colourpop. I think they have another monochromatic purple palette. It's my pleasure. No, I don't know. But this is Lilac You a lot, so this is lilac -y. what's the difference between lilac and purple is this lilac maybe is this like purple and this lilac i don't know but i'm going to use this today and i think i'm going to try to do a halo eye today i'm not like 100% sure but i think so i'm just gonna prime my eyes and then we get started so for the halo eye today i'm not going to do what i always do when i do a halo i'm going to use a way that I do sometimes. So I'm going to start with Imagine That, this one in my crease. And I don't know if I have used this shade, I don't think so. I bought this palette because I wanted some more purple in my collection. And uh, do you know how many times I've used this? One, maybe two. So <laughs> I think that says a lot what I feel about purple, but. And I feel like with this one, I also have the Mint to Be palette. And these are more like pastel palettes. So you have to build the colors up a little bit nothing wrong about that because it works but just so you know and that's why I'm going back and forth a lot maybe I should do a little bit more on this okay so the different thing I am going to do for my halo today that I usually don't do I'm going to take a shade on my whole lid and then I'm going to cut the halo instead of taking shades out here and in here so I'm going to take a shade all over my lid and then cutting the halo I actually think that I will take this one filter red on my whole lid I don't know how dark this is not that super dark and I do think that both uh, ways work good to do a halo i guess that this might be a little bit easier because you don't you you can't like take too much because you're filling up the whole lid so i think that is good But also it's a little bit harder maybe to cut a good halo. So I don't know. But if you're struggling the other way to do a halo. So try this and see if this works better for you. We will see how this works. Because the last time I tried to do a halo. It. Uh, I gave up. So there was no halo. Okay, so for the halo I will take Wake Me and I have a brush for this maybe. So I'm going to have this brush from Sigma for the shimmer and this little one from LH Cosmetics to cut the halo. And I'm going to use my NYX Glitter Primer. I love this for doing halos and doing cut creases. Just so easy to work with. So I'm just taking some on this brush and cutting. And I'm trying to look straight forward when I'm doing this. I think I want to do a pretty big halo actually. The only thing I can feel is a little bit harder with this is it's hard to see like where you have put the 
Blister primer down. But just go over and where it sticks, it sticks and yeah. Was that a good explanation? But you do want it to blend together with the shade underneath, so if you take it a little bit too far, it's no worries at all. I do like that it's not like a super sharp halo, but it's actually one thing more I want to do, and I think I'm going to do something that I never like do, because I don't like. I'm going to take my pinky and going to take this cloud, this really light shade, and tap it on in the middle of the halo. I don't like to use my fingers, but uh, this works really good. Do you know what? I do really like this eye. Yes. I think it looks really good. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks really, really good. So I'm going to fix the other eye, take away all the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back with what it seems like another purple look that I do like. So this is the finished look. And for my face, um, my like favorite primer, this one from NYX, is empty. So I opened the new one. This is from Glossier. This is some like future duo oil serum hybrid that works good on the makeup that I have had for a while. But the smell of this, it's supposed to smell like this. I read some reviews that it smells kind of funky because it's oils in it. But like I can feel it now on my face and I don't think I can use this because this is, it smells, I don't know if it's like rose, I don't know, but it doesn't smell good, so, so I guess I will not use this. Um, but other than that on my face, I have Ombra from Nabla, I also did take Berry Nude from Nabla for my blush, this one. I think I got a little bit too much though, but it is what it is. And then the Ozone highlighter from Nabla. For my waterline, I did take this one from NYX. This is Shine Bitch. And on my lips, I took Mellow Mauve and Majestic from LH Cosmetics. And yeah, that's all I've used for this look. And I do really, really like this. Maybe purple after two looks for this me in purple thingy maybe we are agreeing now and uh, yeah i did really like this one this awake it has a little bit of a blue in it and i did really like to take a cloud in the middle i don't usually do that but i do like it and yeah i do like this look i don't think i look strange in this purple look so it's going good for me in purple and yeah I do <laughs> like this look and I don't know what the next one will be maybe I'm already done with purple after two videos because now I do like it I don't know no it will come more with purple but yeah I do really hope that you have liked this video I hope that you will like this little in search for purple for me so far it's going really good i don't know maybe i should try to do a completely matte look but the shimmer is real fun we will see but yeah i do really love that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye